Hi everyone and welcome to High Valley Couponers. So I am back with another stockpile tour video. This by far is one of my most requested videos to do stockpile tours. So I'm definitely, I like to do them periodically and do updates on my stockpile current setup. So as you remembered, I did move it upstairs in, around Christmas. I did a whole Vlogmas episode about it. However, basically what happened was we ended up deciding it'd be better for that upstairs room to be more of like a pantry additional kitchen space so I decided to move it back down here and I'm actually really I like the setup better believe it or not it just worked out a lot better um how I did this is also it doubles as a storage room there's lots of other storage in here so I have to get really creative with where I put things but honestly it just works out so much better so we're just going to dive right into the stockpile tour so to start out <laughs> this can opener that was three dollars on clearance that shouldn't be there but sometimes we end up putting things in here just because we don't know where else to put them at the moment okay so hairspray um yeah i we need more of that honestly um this is hair gel um various stylers men's hairspray curl gel um this is all mousse and then here is dry shampoo in here i keep those scuncy, okay, scuncy thingies, um, hair ties, hair masks, and some brushes. <laughs> You'll see a lot of these in my stockpile, and these are actually these Bakery on Main, or not Bakery on Main, Nature's Bakery bars that um, my family gets at Sam's Club. So we just keep the boxes and uh, use them for stockpile stuff, and they work out really good if you just cut the top off. It's perfect. I love it. And back here, I keep Thermacare cream. Okay. Shampoo is definitely one of the big, big things in the stockpile. I have too much of it. Um, to be truthful, this is all guy's shampoo um, and two-in-one shampoo. Head and shoulders. Oh, my gosh. Axe. So much shampoo. I, I love it, though. I really do. Um, more shampoo. This is just, like unisex any gender shampoo and then it says the kid shampoos here i have some nivea cream and some uh little bath sponges yeah it says mesh poof bath poof so that's what i've always called them but somebody told me i was wrong but it clearly says right there bath poof okay and then down here i actually had this labeled but they fall off <laughs> um i have like the, uh, more shampoos i try to organize it out as well as I can, and down here is even more. I do clear out a lot of the shampoo um, around the summertime. I have a lot of people I give this to, and um, some people who like to take it off my hands. So, and I do donate throughout the year too. So I definitely can um, get rid of some of these things as time goes on. Okay, so up here on the top, I have feminine care products. Too many feminine products. Yeah. And then this is actually the top of the shelf for something else that's not even stockpile, but I needed more room. So I put the rest of the feminine care up here. You got to make room or make do with what you got. So, um, yeah, more feminine products. So we also have this little cart here with ice cube trays, tons of polydent. I have lots of people who use polydent, um, so I like to have that on hand. Poly grip, baby wipes, baby powder, stuff like that. And then down here, like Kleenex wipes, boogie wipes, baking soda. It's a bunch of random stuff. And these little carts came from Walmart. And they actually are really, really good. I, I like them a lot. And then over here, this is a donation donation area. I just dump anything that I need to donate in here. Okay, and then this is all travel sizes. Um, so let me... It's hard to do with one hand. Here's all like travel size shampoos and body washes, various things like that. I need to get better about using stuff like this. Travel size. Uh, here is like travel size deodorants and lotions. And then in here, oh, this is just other miscellaneous stuff. All right. And up here, I have tons of hand soap. Love that hand soap. Um, this is all women's body wash and bar soap. I got too much of this stuff right now, honestly. But, uh, you know, it's been on crazy deals lately. So I'm going to get it. And then here I have guys body wash and some kids. This is all guys body wash. This is even more guys body wash. So I got to do a clear out soon. Up here, um, I got, um, oral products like 
floss, toothbrush. Oh, no, this is just floss. This is all floss. Wow, that's a lot of floss. Okay, that's all floss. And again, in these little um, fig bar things, and these are all either power toothbrushes or manual toothbrushes. And I'm really, really doing good on toothbrushes right now. Um, so I'm really happy with that. This is all toothpaste. And it goes back there, double stacked. Yeah. And this is all mouthwash. I have a lot of mouthwash. Okay, and then we also look down here. We have various bins or little boxes that I put stuff in. So this is Noxema Ponds, these emery board things. Um, simple, no, simple wipes are supposed to be over here. Uh, sometimes people come in and get stuff and move stuff around and so things get out of place. Here are like St. Ives, the simple wipes, um, facial cleansers, all that kind of stuff. Um, like facial bars, stuff like that. And then over here, it's all lotion. That's all lotion right there. Um, I got some eucerin. That's kind of my grandpa's to have. Yep, there's a bottle of Axe shampoo. This is real life, y'all. Things like this, it's easy to get your stockpile out of out of control. Um, Vaseline suave, just tons of lotion, which is awesome. Up here, I got deodorant. Guys, deodorant. Women's deodorant. This is women. It's supposed to be women's shaving cream, but I got so much guys shaving cream that the Maybe a men kind of got over here. I gotta find a deal on women's shaving cream, y'all. I'm only down to two of these. It's not not a good number for me. Okay, and then in this cart, I have razors. All razors. Tons and tons of razors. My coupon's expired, by the way. Okay, razors. On top of razors. And then actually over here, believe it or not, this is my gift stock. Um, I stockpile for gifts all year long. When things hit clearances, I get them. So, like, this hand um, set, I got that for a gift. This massager was on clearance for after Christmas. Yankee candle set. Just tons of gift sets. This dishware. And it goes all the way down. Um, tons of stuff. So, I shop clearances all year long. And when I get a gift, I'll just stick it right here. Which I can tell I'm running out of room, so I need to find some more, uh, some more storage. But that's kind of how I do it um, with the gifts. I put my gifts right here on this area. Then I also use this little. Um, it was a dresser that used to have a big mirror on it, but we took the mirror off because we didn't need it anymore. We started using this. So I'm going to show you guys everything. This is all pain medicines like Tylenol, aspirin, uh, ibuprofen, stuff like that goes in here. Uh, that's just some um, miscellaneous. This isn't like I said. This is a storage room, so it's not all stockpiling. Okay, here are tons of medications: um, Docalax, Lactaid, Preparation H, Rolaid, Tums, stuff like that. Zantac. I don't. Um, I'm not throwing it out yet, but I know that they're saying that it's got something in it that's really bad for you. So I'm probably going to just toss that out soon. Here's all the cold medicines and remedies. So like, here's the medicine. Zyrtec, Dimetap, tons of cough drops. Um, this little remedies, no spray, breathe right strips, some Kmart strips back in the days of Kmart. Um, anything that you kind of need for a cold or cough or whatever, this is the drawer you come for that. I need to label these. Okay, in here is vitamins. All that is vitamins. So if I ever need vitamins, come to that drawer. Uh, that's just some batteries. This is all school supplies, which are a mess. But there's pens, tape, index card, post-its. Don't really come in these drawers that often. That one's going to fix it. More light bulbs. Okay, and this is like first aid and uh, foot stuff. So all these Dr. Scholl's. Back when we used to get those all the time on Ibotta. Roto eye drops, Visine, Band-Aids, and some Neosporin. So that is all that's in these drawers. And I really like the drawers. They just work out really well. So something that I didn't used to stockpile are paper goods, believe it or not. I just used to get them at Sam's Club up until the last year. But I don't know. I just started seeing more and more and more and more deals on stuff like this. So I was just like, you know, we're going to do it. So I got this bookshelf here that we used to use for books, but we don't anymore. And I just took out most of the drawers. I have one drawer down here that separates it from paper towels. And this is all toilet paper craziness, y'all. So keep some Scots up there, some uh, single paper towels, 
some paper plates, some more paper towels, and this is all toilet paper. So I, you gotta get pretty creative in shoving. Um, quote a northern Angel Soft, Angel Soft, Angel Soft, Charmin, Scott's Cottonelle. This was on a really good deal. This kind of toilet paper, um, Cottonelle, just crazy. When so. I have tons of toilet paper now, and I'm really happy about that. It's one of those things that you can never, you know, deals don't always come around on it, but when they do, you got to run and stock up. So I got all those. Down here, I don't have as many paper towels, and I want to get more paper towels um, soon. So I'm going to try to work on that. And then up here, I have all those napkins from DG Clearance event. That was really fun. This is just on another storage um, area. But this is the top of it that was not being used. So I went ahead and threw the napkins up there. Okay, so now we are in the laundry room um, area, and this needs some more organization a little bit, um, this little cart thing, but you know what? It's all good. So this is just for laundry. We store baskets and stuff up there. Here I have all sorts of tissues. I have tons of tissues, y'all. Tons of tissues. Here in this Sterlite tote, this is crazy. This is all laundry pods, and it's all the way down in here. There's probably 30 of them or something in here. It's just awesome. I love, you never have enough laundry detergent. Now, it's where they have so many more pods instead of liquid. This is my liquid stock. And then I have a little can of disinfecting spray. Um, and the downy um, wrinkle release. This is all the laundry detergent I have. You know, I only get it when it's like a dollar or less for 25 loads. This member's mark worked out to be like $4. That was really awesome on a deal at Sam's Club I got. Um, so, you know, I would like more liquid detergent. But right now, I just don't have a lot of it. Okay, down here I keep like shout and um, fabric softener, tons of dryer sheets, and over here I keep some uh, like the unstoppables and the Febreze and stuff. Down there is just more storage. That's detergent we actually can't use because it's not HE. So I gotta give that to family members. I got my grandma some. Here's dish soap. Um, I used to have more, so kind of want more deals on it. Here are all my Febreze and then like the fabric refresher. Okay, this is gonna be a because like I said, I've kind of just been shoving stuff in it. It's going to fall down. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and scoot this out. I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. Okay, so we got over here, we got like Lysol wipes, pledge wipes, and then cleaning products. All these are various um, cleaners. You know, I'd like to have more stuff like this, but I currently don't. Down here's more cleaners, toilet bowl cleaner. Um, Mr. Clean Erasers, Windex, multi-service cleaner, stuff like that. And then in here, uh, like I said, this has seen better days. And it usually just sits in front of here. And whenever we need it in here, we just move it out. It's not a big deal at all. So in here, um, I want to find a better place to put these. But I have like these air wicks, um, holders, and sprays. I have some garbage disposal cleaner. And I have some uh, dishwashing gel I got on clearance at Rite Aid. Yeah, y'all, this is not working. It's real life. Down here, have like finish, the Lemmy Shine. And down here, I do keep the, um, the, the, you know, fabric or the, um, air fresh, but I've run out of room. So it's kind of just float up to here. And down here, I have Carbana and the Febreze. So I'll probably take this stuff and put it on the bottom shelf when I get a free moment. But, uh, this is my laundry stock. And, um, we do have some food upstairs, but I don't think I'm going to show that in this video. Maybe I'll do a separate one if you guys want to see the pantry. Um, but this is my cleaning stockpile. That was my personal care stockpile and my gift stockpile. So I really, really love it. I think it's working out very good. I have a good stock here. If I need to take a break, I mean, I have even the last week, I kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, I didn't go out on Tuesday like I usually do. I just, you know, I'm not going crazy with it. So, um, yeah, but I think I'm pretty well stocked and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching.